they're gonna have to make a movie and not put the Disney name anywhere near it and see if it does better than their current because the brand is definitely tarnished. It's just people see that name now and they're just like, I'm done. Uh, I don't want to see it. And then, of course, the fans will probably get blamed because we're not watching the film. Oh, we don't want to see black stars. But, you know, that's that's really not true. Because did you hear like one of the movies that's dominating on Netflix right now? The uh, they clone Tyrone. They clone Tyrone. Like here is the uh, not to throw a curveball, but it's like they clone Tyrone helps Netflix nab top five streaming ranking charts. From what I hear from everyone, this is Jamie Foxx which is kind of interesting because of everything that he's been going through. It's like Jamie Foxx, John Boyega, Tatiana Paris. The lady that's uh, that's in the Marvels. Photon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. People are saying that this is like Fiona fantastic. Paris. It's it's not what you think it is when you watch the film. So it's getting like that word of mouth that's like, hey, somebody put together a great story. And people, look, people in the chat are saying, I enjoyed this film. This movie's hilarious. People should watch it. Imagine that. I didn't see anybody come out and say, I wanted to make this movie the the blackest movie sci-fi possible you know look at that diverse cast no they actually put together a nice film for people to laugh and enjoy imagine that imagine my shock you know when you write something different and unique and people enjoy it so yeah i think that it's so funny when we hear about the casting for ariel and little mermaid and snow white it's like well we wanted the best person for the job <laughs> No, you wanted to make it diverse. Like you, you came out and really admitted you wanted diverse castings. Uh, but when it comes to the haunted mansion, nothing about the best person for the job. I just wanted to make it as black as possible. Yeah, and that's exactly. fine. It's just the hypocrisy that, exactly. that people are looking at Major. when it comes to Disney. And the irony is, the 2003 Eddie Murphy haunted mansion movie was a like that was a financial failure for them. This one opened to the same exact number in the box office that that one did. Oh wow. Like 24 million box office opening weekend. That's what Haunted Mansion 2003 also did. And they spent way more on this one. These Woo. inflated budgets that they're they're coming out here is crazy, man. This is the next one too. Like, do you know what the budget is for the Marvels? Uh, like it's going to be somewhere between 200 and 250. I don't know exactly. Wow. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Well, they had several rounds of reshoots and stuff too, so I'm sure it's I'm sure it's skyrocketed. It ain't gonna be cheap, that's for no. sure. 